There's a new special art exhibit opening at the Minnesota Landscape Arboretum tomorrow. It uses augmented reality. It's called the Dakota Sacred Hoop Walk, and the exhibit is to help people understand nature, land, and culture from a Dakota perspective. We spoke with the artist behind it, who is a member of the Spirit Lake Dakota tribe. It's a augmented reality public art installation that's opening at the Minnesota Landscape Arboretum on October 23rd. I am doing an artist talk um, during that day at 1.30 to 4.30. And users, visitors still download uh, the app, the Revelo app, and then they will see um, Dakota spirits and learn about our culture using their phone technology. It's similar to Pokemon Go. Um, they'll hear the language, they'll see my art, and sort of see the land through Dakota people's eyes. This is so fascinating. I love this. How did you develop this augmented reality art exhibit? I worked with Pixel Farm and Todd Boss to develop one at the Bruce Vento Nature Sanctuary in St. Paul called the Dakota Spirit Walk, and that sort of inspired um, creating this, this next um, augmented reality piece to tell more stories because to Dakota people, you know, the land has a lot of our stories connected to it, our history, and we use it as like land-based teaching. So this, you know, this kind of augmented reality allows me to reveal those stories to new generations of people living here on Dakota homelands. Why is it important to be able to have this available without impacting the land? A lot of the land, you know, is sacred to Dakota people and we want to you know, encourage people to restore their connections to the land. And that includes, you know, restoring the natural prairies, understanding, you know, the, the harmony that exists between animals and plant life. And I feel like creating sculptures or creating buildings, you know, that doesn't allow us to really see the land as like a relative if we're seeing the human impact of things. And so augmented reality allows me to place these stories specifically on land that has these connections to us and do it without having to really need permission, you know, to tell stories that are thousands of years old. What do you hope people learn from this? I hope people learn how rich Dakota culture is. You know, our history um, can be kind of tragic sometimes at what they teach in school, but, you know, there's a lot of beauty and strength in our culture. And where is this at the Arboretum? Um, can you, what do people need to know when they come if they want to see this? They have a sculpture garden at the Arboretum, and there will be signage telling you how to get to the first stop, which is at the high point. Um, when people be up, reach up there, there's a sign that tells them how to activate the installation on their phones. And why is it at the high point? I know there's significance to that. Yeah, to Dakota people, the highest point of a place is a place of power. And when you go to this high point, if you stand in the center of the circle sculpture, your voice actually is amplified through some sort of, um, I don't know, just the way the land is. And they told me even before they installed that sculpture there that visitors' voices would have like this echoing power to it up there. So, you know, to Dakota people, the highest place is a place of power. And so it makes sense to me that we start at this place. Yeah, and I understand this is the first one and then others will be added throughout the year. Is that right? Yeah, so by the spring, all five stops will be installed. And this is just a preview so that people can come out now in the fall, get introduced to it. And then by the spring, when the flowers and everything's in bloom, you know, we can celebrate more of the installation. All right, the exhibit is included with admission to the ARB. Tomorrow, Marlena will do an art talk and walk tour from 1.30 to 4.30. It is free, but you do need to register. 